That is a lot of people, guys. Not a lot of friendly yeah, folks. Yeah, it's your points in. Friendly folks looking for a good time. Here at the military base. <laughs> no. No. Oh, no. How many people are around? Oh. Okay. Okay. That's, that's more than I can count. Turn her around. The other. Another five, fifteen. So yeah, we're good. Fifteen. There's got to be more than that. Okay. I counted fifteen. I think we're okay. Shit. Shit, everybody. Look for a gun. I see a guy landed over here. I don't fucking know where to find a gun, but I found a car. I found I found people. Great, good for you. I see three people. <laughs> I've got a helmet. <laughs> and um a backpack. Any sort of <laughs> nothing. Okay, cool. I'm not gonna lie, I have kind of abandoned you. <laughs> well, I tried to punch a man to death and I got shot to death, so. I'm just kind of running away. <laughs> I couldn't really find a good place to live with a gun and I got scared. Well, I'm, I'm glad to know that I mean so little to you. <laughs> <laughs> So little is that I mean so much. <laughs> you gonna spectate me? No. Nope. Why? Nope. I'm gonna deem you uh, you worthy of spectation. <laughs> oh, good, good, good. Do we want to turn this into a bull commentary? Well, if we're gonna turn this into a commentary, we're gonna talk about ancient Babylonian history. No, about about the game. <laughs> oh, about the game. All right. About the game of all. Here we have Jinren running independently in a team match. It appears that she's abandoned her only <laughs> oh teammate to be gunned down by her friends. You're so salty. She's going to the edge of Soskoska military base that seems to be full of dangerous people with lots of guns, but she herself has yet to contain a single <laughs> firearm, or any weapon of any sort for that matter. She appears to have found some pills. Maybe she intends to take them and uh, put herself out of this misery. Oh, she has found her first gun. Here we go. Oh my God. It's an SKS, a weapon de typically dedicated to marksmen and riflery. However, she does not have a scope. It's going to be hard to use at this point in the game. Oh, she has found a bigger backpack. She is now better prepared to get more pills. That way, she can make sure that they're effective. You're so mean. <laughs> All right. It appears she's going to stay in this room for a little while longer. Nope. Out, out she goes. All right. She's on the move. She appears to be heading for these houses. There was a military base full of gear back there, but she decided that she didn't want that. She wanted to abandon her teammate and come out here because <laughs> surely there's better things in these houses than on the military base, clearly. Uh, and, oh, she has found an orange vehicle, and she appears to be driving into a fence. Yep. She hit that fence. She's managed to take her vehicle off-road and gone <laughs> up a hill. I'm not sure what her objective is, but she appears to be moving towards it post-haste. Whatever it is. <laughs> Maybe she's aiming for this bridge over here. However, she almost hit that tree. <laughs> Maybe that was her objective and she's failed. Alright, she's crossing the bridge now. She's doing this in enough time that most likely there's not going to be anybody watching it, but you never know with these types of games. Is that a curb? Car up ahead. Oh, a car. Yes, it does appear that there's another player, at least one other, in a car at the gas station to her right. They may have spotted her and are going to try to shoot her. We'll see. The lack of gunfire says maybe not. However, she did just crash her vehicle. And this may not be good for her chances. Russ says drugs are good if <laughs> It appears that her hood is not fully closed. It keeps on swinging open. That could be because she smashed her car into a tree at 80 miles an hour. <laughs> it couldn't have done too much damage, though. Her rear view mirrors are still fully intact. She's come to a stop. 
She appears to be going to these yellow buildings, hoping to acquire more loot, something better than the dedicated marksman rifle, or at least a scope, at least. However, she's not finding it, it looks like. Nope, she has found at least a pistol. If somebody comes for her, she can probably use that to put herself out of her misery much faster than the pills. <coughs> She has found the entrance to the stairwell and has entered the second floor. The second floor doesn't appear to have a whole, whole lot of loot. However, it does have some band-aids. Alright, she has found yet another rifle. This one is not a dedicated marksman rifle. It is a uh, assault rifle. And uh, by all appearances, it would be uh, much more practical for when a fight inevitably does occur. And more pills. Maybe the fight won't happen. Maybe she'll just decide to take all of those. She spotted a dune buggy. She's locked onto it like a hawk on a field mouse from 300 yards. <laughs> she appears to be moving forward, post haste towards it. She's getting into it. I can see down the road that there appears to be a flying machine. I don't know if she picked up that gasoline from the previous establishment, but she appears to be trying to fire at it for no apparent reason with a pistol that won't hit from that range. Oh, there's a player, my goodness. Oh, and they have entered another vehicle. Things have turned exciting here today, folks. Jenna is reloading her pistol and is post-haste giving chase to this enemy in a dossier, it appears. This is a police chase gone wrong. All right, dossier man appears to be entering the forest. He's bobbing and weaving, attempting to evade the hawk-like Jenna. Oh, yeah! dang! Woo! Hawk Jenna has just blasted that man in the back of the head at 80 miles per hour. I don't know if he's dead, but he's certainly he's knocked dead. out at very least. The question is, will she go for the loot, or will she just continue on her hawkish ways looking for new <laughs> victims in the forest? I gotta tell you, folks, I had doubts when she started randomly lobbing bullets at a vehicle <laughs> in the distance with her pistol. But it turns out, she knew more than I. Her hawk-like eyes saw that man just chilling out in that vehicle. <laughs> All right, she's continuing down the road now, searching out new victims, searching out new prey, and not finding <laughs> any. But she's trying her best, and that's what matters. She's going to crash into this building at 80 miles an hour. Luckily, it doesn't appear to do any damage. The, the good thing about dune buggies is that they're very good at smashing into buildings at 80 miles an hour. She's alerting anyone who might be present that she's here Uber. in case they want to get out and shoot her in the face. However, no one has, which means that there's no one here. Either that or they're very cowardly. The doors were open as she passed, though, so somebody was here at some point. Maybe it was that field mouse that she murdered earlier and decided not to loot. Maybe he was full of delicious loot and she just did not know. She appears to be cascading at top speed uh, around a corner now, going up a hill, coming to go visit these houses... Look like a couple of red and blue houses, the yellow-topped one. Uh, they appear to have graffiti, probably a bad neighborhood. Not a good place to be honking your horn in the middle of the day. But she has no fucks to give, so she's just going to honk her horn and deal with whatever the repercussions are. Luckily, it appears that there were none, and now she's running away like a scared girl into the night into this hay field. She's going to hit that hay bale at 80 miles per hour, but luckily, her car is invincible. Absolutely no damage. Nothing to be worried about. All right, she's curving, curving. Okay, she's once again on a straightaway. She has come to a rolling stop in the middle of a cornfield. She's honking her horn and driving in circles, hoping <laughs> desperately that anyone around will come and put her out of her misery. However, at this moment, it appears that nobody is willing to answer the call. Everybody is too afraid of her turning into a hawk and shooting them in the head with her pistol. She's taking painkillers, deciding to end the pain one way or another. Just chug all those pills down one after another and, and see if that will eventually make the pain go away. But in truth, the pain is still there. The pain of leaving behind her only <laughs> teammate in a team game. Uh, the, the pain and knowledge that, his, that her teammate was gunned down, trying desperately to protect her. <laughs> wow. You know how I lay it on thick. She's back on the move. She appears to be in a very high state after having ingested two entire bottles of uh, ibuprofen. But 
Luckily, there is nobody around to answer the call she makes, calling for her own death. She's chosen a new random direction to set herself in, and is driving in that way post haste with absolutely no regard for what's around her. She appears to hit a giant ramp and shot into the air, but once again, no damage. She's locked onto this water tower and appears to be heading towards it post haste, slamming on her horn the entire way whilst very slowly coming to a slow roll so that if anybody does have beat on her, they can shoot her directly in the forehead. But, once again, this appears to be a place with absolutely no people to shoot her in the forehead. She's moving on, slamming the gas on her uh, dune buggy so it can go as fast as it can possibly go towards the ocean. Where she may intend to drown herself, I'm not sure. <laughs> she appears to be heading for the lighthouse now, possibly so that she can get up on top of it and call out to the world her woes and agony and then jump to her death. I'm not sure. Nope, here's not. She has turned herself away from the lighthouse and is now once again going back the way she came where she knows there was no people to put her out of her misery, but she continues to explore hoping desperately that someone will change their mind. <laughs> she appears to stumble upon a swamp. I'm not sure if this is an oh. indigenous swamp or a man-made swamp created as a drainage canal. My guess is that this is man-made though. Just taking a look at the surrounding countryside, there's a lot of cliffs and open areas. If this were a real vehicle, she would have just flooded her engine. There appears to be a vehicle to her right that she's spot onto. It just launched itself over that cliffside. I think she's going to go in pursuit of it, maybe. Nope, nope, she appears to have come to a complete stomp, is honking her horn, hoping that they'll come back and murder her. At least I think that's what's happening here. She's turned herself in the complete opposite direction of the adversary and is driving away. Some might call this a cowardly move, but in reality, this is just uh, reverse psychology. She wants them to come and chase her. She wants to be the mouse to their hawk. She's learning from her prey. <laughs> That's all I've got to say to that. She drives through a rocky field at top speed narrowly avoids a few trees, drives straight for another, but then curves the last minute. And, uh... the music. Yeah. <laughs> she appears to be, um... blandly driving in circles in the middle of nowhere. And, uh, yeah. I think that can summarize the last 20 minutes of gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> I've been working hard! I think what you mean to say is you've been hardly working. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're just bitter. You're just bitter beans right now. She's going up a hill, possibly to get a better strategic position, but more likely just because she has nothing better to do with her time. She's firing blindly into the air at a flying machine with a pistol, an activity that almost surely will result in nothing beneficial, but that she does anyway. Now on our way back down the hill, cascading through the trees like a like a ambient deer flying through the, the celestial hellscape of the end of the world. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you want crack? It's crack, isn't it? <laughs> Our driver appears to be having trouble understanding the narrator, probably because of all the painkillers she's ingested. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she just made a little jump over there. In the distance to the left, she could see a parachute and also hear gunfire. My guess is she's going to drive toward that and hope that whoever's there can put her out of her misery. She drives desperately for the gunfire, hope in her heart. She passes the dune buggy on her right with people full of guns. She smashed and crashed her dune buggy and is now running at full speed.